Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak. I'm the to our ninth lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. As you know, we'll do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer and go straight to what this business. So in the previous lecture, we designed this dashboard. Now we're going to do what you call mastering, mastering the application, making sure that application is complete. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to begin with sales. We finish sales, we go to products or what you call stock items. If it's stock items, we go to statistics. Uh, that will be we can leave it pending, but you can go to it, you can see how we do some basic statistics. And then it's do also the remaining ones. So without wasting much time, let's go to uh, today's business. As I said, we're going to begin by mastering this sales uh, sales what sales uh, uh, sales uh, uh, records user interface okay so uh, what you're going to do here so we're going to go to sales records sales I mean stock records stock records okay so uh, let's begin by creating a stock record details screen like when you click here if you take you now to the details of that stock record okay let's go ahead and do that so we're going to go to stock records here we are stock records so i'm going to do now its detailed screen okay it's detailed screen so we shall just simply come here to stock records folder and then we can put now what you call stock record stock record this was stock records now you can do the stock record stock record screen let's go ahead and do that for a single stock record item like when you click on it, it should give you now the details of that stock record item. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we shall go ahead and open a new file and call this one stock. Just me copy this. I'll remove the S. This was records. So I'm going to do the one for the details screen. Okay, so I'm going to call this one stock record screen. Okay, I can just this is stock record details, details screen dot that as you wish okay so that is our stock record detail screen okay uh, now we're going to do a stateful widget and then paste there stock record detail screen and then we go ahead and import the necessary things after importing we go ahead and remove the constant here or we can remove here this super key all right so this item is going to accept uh, the stock record model okay so it's going to accept stock i mean stock is stock they yeah, are stock record model stock uh record mode like this and uh, i can call it item okay so in this constructor i'm going to pass here and say this dot item like this so after doing so uh let's go ahead and uh, and call it and and call it so we want when someone clicks here, we want when someone clicks on this stock record item, they should be taken to this stock detail screen so you can be able to display the details about it. Alright, so then we shall go to our stock records, our stock records screen, and then we go to here to on tap. Okay, uh, we go to list item and then come here on tap. So I shall just simply put get the two, get the two, and then open. And then move to that stock details screen. I import it and then I, I go ahead and pass the, the item that I want to pass to it. So I will go ahead and pass the stock item there. Okay, so by doing so, uh, when you click on it, you'll be able to take you now to the stock details screen. So the, here we are. Okay, it's here we are. So if I click here, it takes me to the stock details screen. Okay, and I'm giving it the stock item that I'm going to display. So let's go ahead and put the our scaffold. So shall go simply and return our uh, scaffold, and then after we go ahead and uh, do our up bar. So put our up bar. So up bar. So I don't know whether we need to specify that this is a stock details, or we can just simply put the title there. Okay, stock. Okay, so you can put here our title and then come and put here 
text and say stock record details okay stock record details all right started doing that we're going to go ahead and put now the body that's going to bear the details let's see what this guy has got for us uh, So that's uh, it doesn't look that nice let's remove it so this is our body uh, body it's having a list tile and it's having just an empty thing right so we're going to create a single item widget uh okay so maybe item title 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 detail widget title and the detail widget we can call it maybe detail title widget something like that so we shall be giving it a title and details so what you should this and it will display for us something uh let's go ahead and come here to our widgets i'm going to come here to my widgets do you have a, a this one widgets okay we're going to create what you call title details screen i mean title detail title detail look and call it maybe title and the detail something like that so i'm going to create here a widget called title detail okay so it will be receiving a title and a what and a detail okay and then it will be representing them in some way let's see what this guy has got for us okay title detail screen so for example here can call it let me import it uh -huh. something like that eh? i'll be getting the concept so this list let me wrap it with uh, some padding let's remember it with some padding and then say uh symmetric i mean say maybe only and maybe can use a uh, symmetric and then put horizontal over 15 or something like that so it's going to be that's that's how our title details screen is going to look like okay but we're going to improve it we're going to make it much more better that looks a little bit ugly um hmm, what next uh so uh, let's first uh, make this title details detail item look much more better uh, look make it look much more better okay so let me put there two of them and then come here so it is going to be like um a title which should be bolded the title or the detail okay so let me come and give this an line height height of one so it can be closer okay uh so i don't know which i should make <laughs> i don't know which i should make the bolded i think the i the the, the, the title is one that should be light so let me go ahead and put here the title and put here the what the detail like this and then i can go ahead and do some what and do some size box in the bottom so you can push the one next to it by 10 something like that all right so let me uh give this one font uh, decoration and give font weight of something that is light uh let me put y 100 let me put 400 put 300 okay yeah so i think that's fine i think that's fine that's fine maybe i can make it maybe shed 700 or maybe 800 since it is already light okay so i think that's fine so maybe i can make this one 18 to make it look a little bit bigger ah, i think that's okay i think we can go with that uh, let me put here some height
yeah i think that's okay i think that is okay okay so i can do like this so it is empty to turn a dash it is not empty to turn the item itself all right so now let's see what we may need to display on this uh single single what single item record let's see what we need to display let's come and copy this all these variables and then come here and just paste them here and we see what we should display and what we should not display all right so let's go ahead and paste it here uh let's remove one by one so the data was created that is important we shall uh, maybe the id for identification shall display it uh, the date was created, that is important. The date was updated, is not important. The company ID text, that's not important. The stock item, the stock item which was affected is important. So, we shall display this text, okay? The stock item which it was affected. And then we come here to the category. I don't, do you need to display category? I don't think so. I don't think so, so I can remove also the category text. Um, so, subcategory text can also remove. Uh, what else? Uh, created by. You can put that one, the one who created the record. You can display that. SKU, I don't think we need to display that. The name of the product, I think it's the same as the, of the, uh, the same as what? As the item text. Uh, measurement uh, measurement you shall you need them because you shall display her description you shall need it uh -huh, type of the record you shall need it and then we shall have uh, quantity it will be next to the measure measurement and then the selling price that is the price you shall need it and then the total sales total sales total sales of the difference between selling price and total sales on a record shall display them profit if profit was done or not shall display it shall see what this does and then financial period uh yeah we can display that one also all right so shall begin with the most important ones and then we break them down up to the least important uh so it is much, much more important let's organize them we shall need uh, the item name. <laughs> item name. We shall need the type of the transaction. We shall need the type of the transaction. Mm -hmm. We shall need the date first. Date will come first. And then uh, type of transaction. I mean, uh, type of transaction. I mean type of a record and then after the item that has affected and this part created by will be the last and then the quantity next will be the measurement to that quantity and then we have the, the selling price and then the two sales and then the profit or loss and then the description and then the person who created it I mean and then the financial year, I think financial year, and then the person who created it. All right, that's the thing that we are going to need. Okay, let's do the thing that we're going to need. All right, so begin with the date. I have begin with the date. Uh, so we shall come here to our stock record details screen and then come to our first item. It's going to be uh, date. Okay, date. And then you go ahead and put here. Date. Okay, so date. Ah, so it's that data. I think we can do better. Let me see uh, if I can do some what some function that can convert this date to something better. that so it passed the date and then we return okay so i can go ahead and put the time like this 
Thank you, copilot. Okay, so I think uh, I think that is fine. Hmm? All right, I think that's fine. Let me put it without converting and see if they are correlating. Uh, yeah, the date is the 28th uh, at 6. Yeah, that is fine. That is fine. So I'll go ahead and remove this. Yeah, so that is the date. Uh, so I can put here the ID. I can put here the ID. And then put here hash. Or maybe I can say maybe record ID. Let me just leave that from there. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So I've displayed that date. What else? Uh huh. We come to the ID. I can say maybe ID I've displayed up there. And then we come here to the record type. Record type. Record type. But it is a cello heart. Uh, record type. Can go ahead and put that one. Record type. So it is a cell. Okay. So I can maybe make it to uppercase, something like that. That's the cell. And then after you can maybe be able to get maybe it's relevant color, something like that. Okay. So. And then after we go ahead and give the item. I think the item is the item stock item. So this is the item. I think I don't know the item text whether we have some data there. Stock stock item text. It's not there. Okay, just put the name because in some background we had to collect the name and put it there. So that is stock item text. All right, so what next? Uh, stock item text and the name are the same. And then we go for the quantity with the measurement are going to go together. So quantity going to go quantity and next which is going to we're going to put the measurement. Okay, so we shall just simply come here and do like. Uh, like this and then put the measurement next to it like this okay so I put the quantity and then the measurement next to it let me just remove space 1 kg alright so let me remove this uppercase okay so there you go there you go there you go there you go there we go uh, all right, so I put the measurement so you see how things are flowing very smoothly. Okay, and then I go ahead and put um, I put the what I put the measurement it's done. I put the price. I don't know. I don't remember the difference between selling price and and uh, okay. The, this the price would wait at which it was supposed to be sold, and then the price at which we sold it, and then. Whether I made profit or loss. Okay, let's see. Uh, selling price. I think it's just the same. The same because record one even. Okay. Go ahead and put that. Selling price. Uh, can I go ahead and put total, total sale and they see the difference? Just the same, eh? Selling price and total sale, I think the same. Alright, so I want to use this to do money format. Okay. So I'm going to say deals that money format. Okay, so this method you don't have it, I'll go ahead and create it. I create method in the utils, money format to take a string, and then it will do like that. So I'm going to write here some logic.
the copilot has done it for me. So I can pause it there and see. It has failed. <laughs> Let me see. Temporary. It's the selling price. And then you look through it. If it is greater than three, you look through it. Uh huh. How comes that I got null? Okay, let's see. Let's leave this one. not waste time on this all right okay so we proceed okay we proceed we proceed we proceed because this is taking a time uh we come into two cents this is already done uh profit or loss let's see if what you're uh, having there makes sense. that sale you made this pro profit depending on what is supposed to be sold uh, then you have description which may be divider and then you can put now the description
there is any. And then put cut it by. Uh, we shall go ahead and feed in those and then we come and put uh, financial year financial period like that so we shall go ahead and, add and feed in those texts that are empty all right so that's it uh, now i want to put here in this edit amount i want to put the edit here okay Let me try to use this. So this is the chat GPT answer and we see it come up for us details selling price can put here with the that yeah that is okay that looks fine yeah that looks fine Alright, so that's it. That's it now. Let's go back now. I want to put here an actions. Uh, actions here. I want to put the edit. Eh? I want to put the edit button. Uh, pilot has put it for me. Okay. So let me give it color of primary maybe. Okay. So that is our edit button. So if someone not edit, will come here to make some changes. All right. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now we come back and uh, arrange this and make it much more better. I think here we just need to put a date, the date, and the and the and the type, and then the quantity as a subtitle. Okay. So. The date, the item, and the record. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let me remove this edit and put the amount. This one I'll put it as a what? As a subtitle. Trading.
okay so trailing put the money how much I put the selling price there yeah, that's what I wanted mm-hmm like that then I want to put the date so let me put the date here uh, I don't know if I should put the date I should put it next to the Let me put the date here. This I'm going to put next to the item. So I put there the date. come here to the item and I put the what was sold exactly I surround it with maybe uh, bracket okay so you shall have something like that so let me make this one a little bit bolder okay and then let me get this one primary color To leave it as black okay so let me make this data a little bit smaller all right okay uh, next to the date i'm going to give it uh, the record type All right, so uh, now let's go ahead and uh, and do what and put the, the type of the transaction. Let's put the type of the transaction.
it is there uh, maybe you can give it some background color okay so this is font size make it eight and make it like um, make it six to be super small let's make it eight and give it some font weight to bold okay you can get its color that method yeah so can make this color to always be white let's go ahead and uh, take the words for example you can say let's go to it's lowercase so we are switching uh, in case it is cells in case it is a cell we should return for example blue uh -huh. in case it is what just look at the colors that we have uh -huh. so we have cell we have cell we have damage uh -huh. we have expired we have lost we have uh, internal use we have other black I think that's that's okay. I think that's okay. Only that I would say this should be here, and this should be here. It's rather context colors. All right. So that is making much more sense now. All right. So we come now to that's how simple. Uh, because so you can create a record. So for example, this item, I'm making sales to, uh, and let's say, some details. Go ahead and submit. Yeah. And create another one. No. So now refresh. I have uh, this one on top here, two items. And then, oh, there's a, ch there's a challenge. There is a challenge. I think I'm supposed to display total sales instead. Because this is a, like a single sale. Uh -huh. So let's come to stock item three. This is a selling price. So this is like a total sales. Yes, exactly. After selling, that is what exactly sold. That is the selling price and then the total sale. Selling price, then total sale. Okay, what is sold? I think we need to display total in the details. The details, the details, the details, the details screen is here. Uh, selling price and then have your profit or loss. Ah, come here and duplicate. Total sale. Yeah, that's total sales. So this is you sell each at this amount. This is uh, what you sold exactly, and then this is uh, a profit. If you made profit or you made a loss, okay? Yeah, I think that's enough. That's enough. Plain. We can maybe put filters. Let's filter. 
let's put some filters all right let's put some filters yeah in the next lecture let's do that in the next lecture we're going to put filters and also master other things so i've finished mastering this one i should say i finished mastering this one so let's move in the next lecture and i mean the next lecture and work on the filters and also start mastering the products page see you there in the next lecture